Hi everyone, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. It's good to have you. I'm making a soap um, that comes from a sad place, kind of, but I've had this discussion with you all before. I raise goats. I raise them to take care of my property and my property takes care of them. It works out perfectly. They clear the weeds, they have a very happy life. They have children, they, uh, they live to be pretty old for goats under normal circumstances. Um, last year I lost one of my goats, Bitsy, and I made a goat tallow soap uh, using her in a very respectful way. I didn't want to just throw her in the ground. Uh, I loved her that much, and I love all of my animals. People may find that hard to believe. Uh, I raise chickens and turkeys, and yes, I do eat some of them. But I, I eat very little meat. I truly do. I'm not a big meat eater. And as I've said before, I think I could go vegetarian or vegan quite easily. I just need to spend more time learning good <laughs> vegetarian recipes. My mother was a southern cook and she cooked some beautiful vegetarian dishes, but primarily meat and potatoes, right? But she had a wide, she cooked a lot of Chinese. She uh, actually uh, learned how to cook from a Chinese chef in uh, Los Angeles. I Long story, I, you don't care about that. But anyway, um, during the recent ice storm here in Texas, we lost some trees and, well, long story short, um, I lost one of my goats to the storm. Uh, a tree fell, uh, a couple trees fell, but one in particular uh, killed her. And it was very emotional for me. It's one of the reasons why I haven't done a soap video uh, well, I, I won't go into all of that, I'm sorry, but this is that tallow from that goat, okay? So I'm just, it's made with my own goat milk. Now this is from her sister, two of her sisters actually. Um, the goat that died, her name was Lavender, and I've only had her, she was born two years ago, so she does have a baby who's not a baby who's actually a young more of a teenager but the milk came from two of her sisters um i didn't have any of hers because she was not pregnant at this time anyway I, i'm sorry why i'm over explaining aren't i but so this is a goat tallow and a goat milk soap uh, along with the goat tallow, I've added just a bit of babusa oil in here to uh, hopefully increase a little bit of the lather because uh, tallow soaps can be uh, very creamy, uh, but not as conditioning, so thus the goat milk to make it a more of a conditioning bar, a very nice, gentle bar. But because it was lavender, that was her name, <laughs> I'm going to be coloring it with some alkanet, which will give it sort of a lavender hue, and lavender and peppermint essential oils. I just, you know, those are two of the milder essential oils, and I'm using it in a smaller, so it won't be a very strong soap. And it'll be a very gentle, gentle soap for uh, anyone in the family. All right, so going to go ahead and add in my goat milk. All right, just scrape in any of the extras here. I don't like to waste any, anything at all, so sometimes I'm a over scraper. All right. All right, so I'm going to use my new massive <laughs> stick blender, which is made for much larger batches than this, but I, I, will, I need to try to use it and get in the habit of using it more. It is just great. I love it. <laughs> I do. It does such a great job, but and it has a speed control, so I won't over emulsify or I over uh, 
beat this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. It's gonna be noisy, so we'll mute this part. Oh, that smells so nice. I love that combination. You know, my rosemary, my, I guess it's not mine. Everybody uses rosemary and peppermint together, but that is one of my favorite fragrances. But this one, it's right up there too. All right, I'm gonna get to pouring now. So, well, let's get these unmolded. All right. Boy, are these lighter than I thought they would be. And I think I know why. Um, I did use an alkanet root infusion but I th know what I did I was intending on only making one single loaf of this and then I realized I later had changed my mind that I was going to do these individual molded ones and I didn't change the amount of alkanet root that I was going to use in the for the color so instead they came out this very 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 light color which is fine um, but it needs something else I think they're a little too pure but what's funny about that I named these after lavender the goat not after the color lavender, not even after the fragrance lavender, uh, but decided to fragrance them with lavender and peppermint because, well, I really like that fragrance, but I did intend to color them with lavender, but this is actually the color <laughs> of the mother of lavender. She was a very light colored goat, and I only named her that because I thought she was sweet and very, she reminded me of a lavender. <laughs> I can't tell you exactly why. I name a lot of my animals after flowers. I've got Daisy and Rose. Uh, I've had uh, several others. We had a Tulip, a Petunia. These are all names that I really do like. And floral names can be, I don't know, quite complimentary, I think. so. There you have it, Lavender Pure, the pure goat milk and goat tallow soap. They smell wonderful, and I think they're going to feel really wonderful. These will be available in the store in late March, so be looking for them then. Thanks, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Please have a wonderful day. I'm working on a new Hey Patrick video that I think you'll have, that you'll enjoy. We'll talk more about that and wait, I boo-booed there. Have a great day, everyone. We'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.